In previous videos, I got hold of a Ford F-Series bedside. <laughs> Come to daddy! Some Beetle front fenders. So at a price that really suits my budget, I for free, and I stitched it all together to create what we have so far. Now, look at the back end. I need to fill in these spaces and build the tailgate. <laughs> Coming up. Okay, how's it yokes and welcome back. Thanks for joining me here in my forest workshop. If you don't know me, my name is Duff and I'm addicted to rust. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is to fill in this blank here. So I've created this plywood template that fits there. So the idea now is to use this to cut a piece of metal. Um, I'm also thinking I should maybe fold it so it goes around this corner here. Yes, let's do that. So I cut me a piece of plate that's large enough to do the trick. This is 1.2 mil. So I'm going to give it a bend now on my homemade bending brake. So I just want to get my marks lined up. Tight on this side. Right. Here we go. Now I scribe my pattern onto the steel. And then I saved you from having to listen to the noisy grinder and I quickly cut it out. So I just have to give it some clearance cuts here so that it can get over this frame and the brackets down here. So this now goes in like that. That's the basic idea. It needs a little bit of fine tuning here <laughs> just to get the weld gaps nicely. So before I weld anything, let me just look at this business first. It's always a good idea to try and think one step ahead. <laughs> so I'm trying to imagine what's going to happen here. And I think I need to cap this frame end first before I do anything else. So I'm just going to take this off again. And then I can sort that out first. I used some 6mm or quarter inch material for this. I might want to uh, stick a bolt in here, down the line. And that will give me enough meat to drill it and tap it. And you know what, I was just uh, checking out the, the welding on this Nissan frame. And, uh, and I ain't saying I'm a hotshot welder or anything, but I can tell you one thing. <laughs> my, way, my welding is way, way neater than theirs. I temporarily <laughs> glued on this piece of 6mm super wood. Um, I will take it off later, but I need to create a gap there. Um, let me stick this in. So that's going to help me keep this gap. And then I'll zoom in here so you can see what the plan is there. See here, by creating that quarter inch gap, I can retain this radius. So that looks quite nice, and if I do want to add another piece in here later, I can do the same with that and I can have a nice little seam going here. So don't think that um, cars are perfectly symmetrical when they come out of a factory. I think it would probably apply more to the older models. I don't know, these days with computers and all that it might be better. But uh, this is the difference between the left hand side and the right hand side on that Ford F-Series load bin. Look at that. So I got the pieces made for both sides. I am clamped them in place to check things out. I think it's going to work. It looks great. I like it. 
So I think I'm going to just stack weld it on here and then I can cut these excess pieces off on both sides to get it nice and flush. Okay, I got that finished. I even capped the end of my, what shall we call that little thing there? Molding, whatever. I've got it capped right there. So I guess, yeah, if I wanted to be like a fancy dude, so I can whack this with a DA and sand it all up. But kind of, what's the point if I'm going to let it, just let it rust? <laughs> so I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to be doing here. So I think next up, I'm going to bolt the tailgate. <laughs> so let me scratch here in my steel rack, see what I can find. This pipe could work, it's a little bit rusty, but it'll have to do. What else have I got? This piece of 2x2. Two Tubing could work. I think it might be a little too short. Let's go check it out. Alright, well, maybe this. Okay, my pickings are a little slim here, yeah? but the steel shop is a long way from here. So I'm going to use what I've got. I've got this piece of 1 inch 25 mil tubing. I found a length of 2x2 two two square tubing. It's a little too short, might have to make it longer. I've got another off cut. And I found this here piece of, what is this? 40 by 20 inch and a half, roughly by 3 quarter inch. Let's see what we can do with it. So I'm first going to build a frame, this is going to be my bottom piece, because it's going to provide an inch point. This is going to be my upright. And then the 2x2 two two square tubing is going to sit on top there, something like that. So I notched my piece of rectangular tubing to fit over the pipe like that. And on this side I just made a little pie cut and bent that piece in, so that it just all meets up nicely. So here's the plan, Stan. <laughs> I've got this piece of one inch pipe down here in the bottom. Here are my uprights. Um, I've just installed three millimeter hardboard pieces all around to provide clearance. That's one eighth thick. Here you can see my spacer pieces. I've got one here below the pipe, also up here on the side. And then the inch pin for the tailgate will sit there. So I need to drill a hole into this upright on the load bed frame. And then this piece of 50 by 50, 2 by 2, will now sit on top, but it's too short. So I'm going to have to extend it. So to extend my piece of square tubing, I first got to clamp down onto my table, which is a flat surface. And then on this side I've got a piece of angle bar that serves as a straight edge. And I've got it clamped onto that as well. So now it's got to be straight, right? So I can just weld it together. Right, my extended piece is nicely welded on. I've capped my ends. So let's see. Yes, now we're getting somewhere. 
So I think before I weld this thing together, I'm going to think one step ahead again. <laughs> um, and just think about what I'm going to do, be doing for my hinges here. I think I need to figure that out first. And drill the holes and make it all up before I assemble this frame. So I made up a little jig that I can use to drill the holes equally on both sides. But Murphy's been hanging around here today. <laughs> Look at all my holes. That first one, bad measurement. The second one here, that's the one I originally wanted to use. But then I realized it's too close to the surface. I can't drill it parallel from this side. So the only way to drill that hole would be to take the whole side off and drill it from the opposite side. And I'm really not interested in that. So I'm moving everything up a little bit. So this is the final hole. I've already drilled the pilot hole. So now I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. Yeah, always fun to drill a big hole in steel. This is 5 8 or 16 mil. Normally there's some busted knuckles involved. Let's give it a shot. So far so good. Now through the other side. Well, that worked okay. This material here when I was digging around I think it's nylon I could be wrong so I made these bushes to fit inside my pipe and then I made two pins this is 5 8 round stock 16 millimeter so now that will work and like that quite nicely okay so here's how this is going to work if everything goes according to plan the bush will go into the end of the pipe. Nice tight fit, so I'm just going to try it lay loosely. Then the pin pushes through from there. And then into the bush. And we will have a <laughs> swinging tailgate. Let me assemble it and see if it works. Step one, I got my bushes into the end of the pipe on both sides. I must remember to take them out before I weld this thing. Otherwise I will have a sticky situation at best. <laughs> so step two, my pipe should now be just a nice fit in here without any sideways movement check. Look at that, eh? Great fit, man, even if I have to say so myself. <laughs> Can't move sideways, there's going to be no rattles. So now step three, I must just locate the holes and push my pins in to the bushes. Let me see. Another line up things, there we go. That's that one. This one lined up. And it's in as well. Look at that. Can I steal someone else's words? I love it when the plan comes together. That's going to be great. 
So my frame will now roll on like that. Hopefully see the whole thing. And then it, when it swings down, oh man, it's going to work very well. <laughs> so it's a close-up of my bush, and you'll see that lip there. It's going to ensure that there's no sideways movement, so we won't have any rattles. So this is my final dry run to check everything out. Everything looks great. Um, unfortunately, I can't weld it now because those plastic bushes are still in there and they will melt. So I'm going to have to disassemble the whole thing, take the bushes out again, then tack weld it together. And then we can <laughs> see where we go from there. Okay, let's check it out and see how this thing works. Oh man, <laughs> check it out. And absolutely no sideways movement. Gonna be no rattles here. I tell you, the one out tailgate on my F100 drives me mad. But this thing is sweet, man. <laughs> I love it. So I need something to stick in here now and I haven't got any new steel and this is the budget build which means I don't want to spend any money <laughs> and I'm pretty much allergic to shopping anyway so what am I gonna do? So I'd better go and scratch through the junk in my yard see what I can find scavenge like a vulture <laughs> Let's go take a walk outside and see what we can find. It's a lot of crap lying around. Every time my wife comes here, she wants to have a fit. Then I tell her to go away. <laughs> can you see up there? Hidden in the, amongst the trees. There's my Hudson that I recently got. Man, I love that thing. I'm going to have to give it a place of honor very soon. <laughs> Before we walk up there, let me just have a look through. Well, there's nothing here. Hey, let's go over there to the remaining Nissan parts. <laughs> I used the... Oh, I, yeah, I'm using the frame from this Nissan hard body for that current Chevy build. Maybe there's something here. Hey, how about this door? Maybe we can cut a piece out of this door here. I wonder if it's big enough. And all the chirping you hear is from this pond here right next to my shop. There's actually shallow water amongst these grasses. And that's where the little buggers are having the time of their lives. <laughs> so there's lots of feathers lying here next to the pond. So some creature obviously must have had his breakfast or his lunch here at some point. Let me get this thing here up on the bench so I can see what I can do with it. <laughs> they say playing such good new rock music on the radio but I can't leave it on. I'll probably get a copyright strike. So it looks like I can get a big enough piece out of this door. Let me cut it out and see what we get.
Anybody wants to see what the inside of a Nissan hardbody door looks like? Let me open the hatch. <laughs> There's some sound deadening stuff here on the inside, so I'm just going to take that off first. And now it's really stuck. I think it's going to take me a while to get this off. I wonder if I shouldn't just leave it on. Yeah, well, you know, my, <laughs> my sense of, shall we call it due diligence, is now making me take it all off. And of course, I've got this shit flying all over the shop. So that's why the fancy people in the world would just go and buy a new piece of steel. Because I can't deal with such a mess. But I can tell you one thing. When I have a tailgate like no other in the world. So cleaning this up is a small price to pay. And my piece has already got a nice curve. That's another bonus. And it's yellow. Okay, so maybe not the yellow. I mean, I don't want a rainbow rat. No, why is it not working? Let me try again. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not plugged in. Ta-da! Magician's secret finally revealed. Good old Nissan door. Thank you for sacrificing your life so I can build a cool tailgate. And uh, yes, you're still going to be staying in my world. I can see more pieces that I can use from you. Still a nice piece of sheet metal right here. And this door frame here. How about this idea? If I cut it off here and cut it off there and use the same piece from the opposite door and weld them together, I could create a grill shelf or something in the future. I'd like to try that one day. A comparison of sheet metal thicknesses, 70s Ford F-Series, 1.6 millimeter, 51 Chevy Roof, 1 millimeter, 70s Beetle Fender, 0.9, and 90s Nissan, 0.9. Interesting, huh? So I've trimmed this plate now to fit inside this frame. And while that's easy to say, <laughs> it took me quite a while to get it nice, to ensure a good fit. But I think we're pretty much there now. So I'm tacking every inch and a half from the inside now. Okay, let's go try it, see what it looks like. Check it out, man. What do you think? I've got some nice curvature here. Some nice, interesting profiles going on here. It works very well. <laughs> I'm happy with it, man. Look, I've even got a lock here. That Nissan door decided I should have this. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I can find a key for it somewhere, I might be able to make it do something. Okay, I got a tailgate, but what am I gonna do down here, man? I mean, I can't leave it like that. We'll figure out something in the next video. I'll see you then. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a lucky one.